Okay, we'll do a quick uh, install of ENB for Skyrim Special Edition. Um, if you've been following the guide, you already have the script extender, which just recently came out with a new version for Special Edition 2.0.20. So you already have that if you're following the guide. If you don't have it, I do have an installation video linked to the guide. Okay, so if you're following the guide, you're in the ENB section, you know I recommend uh, Re-Engage by Fireman AF. <clears throat> First thing you need is the binary. At enbdev.com, link is in the guide. You'll take the latest version. 463 takes you to the page scroll down to the bottom where the arrow is this way you're not clicking on advertising links just follow this you download it mine goes directly to my downloads folder okay and the other thing that we have to download that we do not install with our mod manager is the ENB itself. Follow the link in the guide or whatever ENB you're using. I use a weather supported ENB, meaning that the weather is not the same all across Skyrim. Gives you much more realistic experience, in my opinion. So we want re-engaged ENB for Obsidian, ENB Weather Supported. It's a manual download. Go ahead and download that. Okay. Now when you um, use a Weather Supported mod, <clears throat> see one of the things that they recommend you take is the particle patch. But if you look here, under the Special Edition version, the plugin is only needed in case you do not use the SKSE weather plugin. <clears throat> and that's exactly what ENB, and Hel ENB Helper is. <clears throat> and we are using that. ENB Helper is only for weather supported. So I highly suggest, for all those reasons, you use a weather supported ENB. Okay. First, and we're going to need our Skyrim Special Edition folder. Easiest way to get to that for those that are not sure where it is, just go to right click on Skyrim Special Edition in your library, go to Properties, and then go to Local Files, <coughs> excuse me, and then Browse Local Files right here. Okay, whoops, do we get yeah, there? It is Skyrim Special Edition. So let's take that, and let's size it up, okay, go to our downloads folder, and let's grab whatever it is that we just downloaded, go to downloads, let's take re-engage, drag it to the desktop, let's take ENB series, Drag it to the desktop, get rid of that, take EMB series, should have 7-zip in installed, right click on the file, extract here, <coughs> excuse me, now all we're looking for out of this, you're going to get Linux version, wrapper version, you get a couple of web links here, we're only interested in the wrapper version. And in the wrapper version, there are also many files. All we want is two, these two DLLs, the D3D11 DLL and D3D compiler underscore 46E DLL. They're right at the top underneath the NB series folder. The rest we're going to get from the actual ENB that we use. But we need the binary, so just take these, either drag them, or copy and paste them 
into the folder we just opened. And we're done with that. Well, we could actually delete all this. We don't need any of this. And we don't need this. Okay. Next is the actual EMB itself. Again, we're going to write... Oh, we got one more to delete here. Going to right click with 7-zip. We're going to extract here. There's our re-engage folder. Open it up. Most EMBs come with three folders. We want to go right straight to the main file. These are your optionals for information on how to use those. There's a video by Fireman F on how to tweak your settings. But you want to go to the main. There's usually three versions of most EMBs. One for performance, a medium quality, good image, and then a high quality, ultimate edition, best image. We're going to open that. And all we want out of this, we'll take all four of these, the whole thing, we'll copy it, we'll paste it. Right now our EMB is ready to go, except we're using weather supported. So again, we can delete this. And we can delete that. Okay, so we already installed SKSE 64 earlier. Um, now, we don't need the particle patch. We just went over that. We're, we want EMB helper. That's simple. You can download that with our mod manager. Click on it. We've already got our EMB binaries. I've got SKSE. Just let Vortex install that. There we go. Everything's installed. Let's go back to our desktop. And that's it. We've got everything. You're done. We put that in. Oh, might as well install your weather mod while you're at it. You can always do that. Which I'm using Obsidian Weathers and Seasons. There it is. You can do that with your mod manager. I always get the MCM, which the link is also in the guide. That'll put the settings, instead of using the magic power that they give you, I like everything in one area, nice and tight, nice and neat. You get a nice MCM where you can adjust everything all in one place. I'll just take that, it says don't forget about requirements. Which, of course, Sky UI we've already installed earlier in the guide. We've already got Obsidian. We've already got SKSE 64. Download Manager Requirements. It's that simple. I know it looks like, you know, it looks like a lot when you first look at it, but a very simple process. I've got our binary. I've got our weather mod. Got the MCM. We got re-engaged. We got EMB helper. We're done. I hope that helped.